Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to show you how flux context changes everything. I have also created an advanced workflow where you can use LoRa's for an 8 step generation process. We will be using either GGO quantization or the safe tensors format depending on your system requirements. Both help reduce memory usage and speed up duration. So there is also a T cache and MAC cache node that makes generating results even faster. And finally we will use the Lang Sigma sampler to add fine details and improve the realism of the final output. So how does this model work? You can upload one or two images and with just a simple prompt, you can do so many things. Remove objects, change the weather, regenerate the image in the same style, adjust facial expressions, edit text, convert it into anime or line art and much more. All done just with one click. Today. We are going to take a look at running Flux context tail in Comfy UI. It's the open source version and completely free to download. If you have a PC with low VRAM, download the GGUF version. If you want better quality and have more VRAM, go for FP8. And if your PC can handle it, you can run the full wave model. So, once downloaded, place the model file into your Comfy UI models diffusion model folder. For the text encoder and VAE, you can use the same ones from the previous Flux workflow. These don't change between versions, so no need to download new ones. Moving forward, to download the workflow, simply visit aistudynow.com and you can get the free workflow there. Just verify your email once and then you will be able to instantly download all workflows directly from aistudynow.com. So let's talk about how to use this workflow in Comfy UI. So if you want to use a GGUF model, Instead of a safe tensors model, simply unbypass the unit loader GGOF, then bypass the load diffusion model and connect it to the load turbo LoRa node. If you have low VRAM, consider using the Flux 1 Turbo Alpha LoRa for 8 step generation with Flux. There is no need to use 20 steps. If you don't want to use any other LoRa models, just bypass that section entirely. In the cache group, you will see both SA, Tcache and Madcache nodes. You can try both, but in my experience, it's best to use only one at a time to avoid conflicts. Test both and see which one gives you faster results. There is a node called Model Sampling Flux. You can improve your results by increasing the value for shift and base. The default values are maximum shift 1.15, base shift 0 0.50. Oh, but then so there is also a node called Sigma Sampler, which adds more details. I have bypassed in my setup, but you can try enabling it to see if it improves your results. So if you want to select a specific resolution, instead of using the default auto value, you can set it to 2 and enter any resolution you prefer. You will then get the output in your chosen resolution. In the image upload section, there are two image input slots. If you only want to use one image, 
just bypass this second input. So let's get started. First, we'll begin with a single image. For now, bypass the second load image node. I have already uploaded an image of a woman wearing armor standing in a stone courtyard. So for example, if you want to change what the woman is wearing, for example, to a red dress, just write the prompt, woman wearing a red dress. So let's generate the results. So you can see the results. In seconds, you will get a result where the overall composition of the reference image stays the same, but the woman's outfit changes to a red dress. However, if you zoom in, you will notice that there is 0% change in the actual image. It is more like a surface level edit rather than a deep modification. So let's talk about another example. Now let's try removing the woman entirely from the image. Make sure your prompt is clear and specific or the AI might return the same image without any change. So I have given this prompt, remove the woman wearing armor from the reference image. Able to generate a required image without the woman. But now we have changed the seed and then generated the result again. And finally, it has generated a desired result now. The model will then automatically fill in her space with the background in a way that matches the scene nearly perfectly, about 100%. So let's move on to next example. So let's say you want to change the weather to snowy. Use the prompt, everything is covered in snow. And just wait for the results. So this is the final result we have got and you can see that the weather has been changed and snow appears in the scene. However, the AI may also add snow on the armor and face which might not be what you want. So let's try something different. A snowy landscape where everything is covered in snow except for the women wearing armor. So this time the background changes to a snowy environment, but the AI does not add snow to the armor or the woman's face, giving a more accurate and intentional result. Now it's time to replicate the same style. I have uploaded a GTA style image that includes text. It looks similar to classic Grand Theft Auto GTA box art. This image has a very distinct stylized design, including bold fonts, comic style layout, and a gritty aesthetic. Transforming the theme into something entirely different, like dragon themed GTA. So I have used the prompt, a stylized poster in the layout of a video game cover, Inspired by Grand Theft Auto box art, replace the Grand Rick Auto text with Grand Dragon Auto in a bold blocky font. Then I added more specific details to guide the design. The design is divided into comic style panels, each fe featuring different dragon themed scenes. Include a fierce fire breathing dragon, a dragon rider in armor, a dragon flying over a cityscape, a baby dragon hatching from an egg, a mysterious ancient dragon with glowing eyes, and the last is a dragon duel in mid-air. Use a bold limited color palette with reds, blues and cream tones. Keep the edgy rebellious feel of the original Rick and Moti parody art. 
but make it entirely fantasy dragon themed in the bottom corner include a fictional game store sticker like buy at firewing games so this is the final result we have got the result retains the original style of the reference image gta box art changes the text as requested and fully transforms the visual content into a dragon themed universe while keeping that iconic gta poster look it's like a fantasy rpg version of gta complete with the same edgy comic book layout just replace crime with dragons so now let's talk about another example here i have uploaded an image of albert einstein and using this workflow i was able to transform it into an anime style portrait simply by using the prompt and the prompt is a man in the anime style eating food in the restaurant so here we have got the result and you can see how well the result turned out the facial features are still recognizable and closely resemble the original reference image but now in a clean stylized anime format moving on using the same workflow you can convert the image into a line art drawing just adjust the prompt and you will get the images in line art so you can even get creative for example add hat to the men in the reference image and you can see it has added the hat also in the final image so you can see in this the possibilities are endless with this method you are not limited to just style transfer you can change the character's outfit you can add accessories like hats or earrings you can place the person in new environment you can modify the artistic style realistic cartoon sketch etc all while keeping the core identity of the original image intact so now let's move on using two images so first and bypass the second load image node so we can work with two reference images so for example i have uploaded image 1 a woman's image image 2 a man's image now now i have used this simple prompt both work together on the street of dubai so we have got the result and you can see even though i didn't upload full body images the ai automatically generated appropriate outfits for both characters while keeping their faces consistent with the original images you can further enhance the result by adding more details to the prompt uh, like women wearing a t-shirt so so you can see in the final image it has changed the women's t-shirts color but there is one more point to notice ai has changed the men's outfit but that is because we have not given the instructions about men and it has done on its own which can be modified later now let's talk about another example in this example i have uploaded image 1 a character's photo image to a 3d anatomy 
model showing front side and back views of a human body then i gave this detailed prompt recreate the second image using the character from the first image show the character in three positions front side and back full body shots use a gray background and photorealistic style and hit the generate button now you can see the result is incredible the ai recreated my character in multiple angles matching the layout of the anatomy image this is perfect for creating character sheets or 3d asset references now moving on to the next example let's talk about e-commerce advertisement so here in image 1 i have uploaded a perfume bottle and in second image a character image of a young woman and the prompt which i have used is a young woman holds a perfume in her hand she introduces the perfume to the audience only show the women holding the perfume and hit the generate button and here is the result the perfume remains exactly as in the uploaded image and the woman is taken from the second image holding holding the product naturally so this method works great for product placement ads where you want to keep the product accurate and place it into a character scene now let's talk about changing clothing style and for this test i have uploaded in image 1 a black t-shirt on a white background and in image 2 the same women from previous examples and the prompt i have given is replace her current outfit with the black t-shirt from the first image and add the text i am not like others in red and white bold font keep her original pose facial expressions and hairstyle change the background to plain and let's wait for the results and here is the result you can see the ai successfully changed her clothing to the black t-shirt the design of the t-shirt is preserved accurately no distortion or stretching it looks like she is naturally wearing that t-shirt so moving on if i want to use three images you need to enable the three image group and connect the images to the flux context image scale node then you can write a prompt like all three walking together on the streets so here is the result as you can see it has recreated an image where all three characters are on the streets and this is how you can use three images together so that's all for today's video please like share and subscribe if you like this one and keep generating bye bye